So I'm going to show you how to tap into the, even though this is the OEM auxiliary battery, I'm going to show you how to tap into the chassis battery. Um, a lot of you will, will just be receiving a little, um, a little fuse, a little 100 amp fuse, and you'll be wondering what to do with it. So that, we're about to show you what to do. So you grab your T25 and take off this plastic shroud that holds this outer edge of the plastic uh, mat down. So we're gonna remove this mat from underneath the driver's feet. There are three screws. Again, I like to take them, put them in my little favorite tray. This moves up and can be pulled out at this point. And now you'll grab your T27, um, which is right behind us over here. And loosen up the bolts around the battery tray here, the battery compartment. When they're loosened up a bit, the tray can actually slide down. And slip off here without removing the bolts entirely. When you pull the tray off, you're gonna have, you're gonna reveal the, the, the chassis battery here. There's a cover. This slips off, you can just pull it right off the top. And you will want to loosen this nut. This nut holds this whole fuse block into place. We're gonna pull this fuse block out and it will reveal an open area where we can put the 100 amp fuse and, and lock it into this, um, into the fuse block. And we pass our wire through here and out into the main compartment underneath the driver's seat and come out there, here. So the socket and we'll pull this out and I'll show you where it goes. All right, so I finally, after three or four tries, it's the 13 millimeter. Um, the 13 millimeter will take off that, the, the bolt that holds the fuse block down. I just dumped it into the center here. And the fuse block pulls out like such. You can, the sides are clipped on right here, right? On either side, so you just unclip them and it reveals the, the fuse um, spaces. So we're going to actually put our fuse right through here and then we will connect our cable to the one side. We'll I'll actually make sure it's flipped upside down so that this part of the lip is facing down. We'll hook it on here after we put our fuse on. We'll bolt everything back together and slip it back into the splay, pay, space and hook uh, this nut back over the top of it, cap everything back off. And this other end will be sticking out We'll jam it through that little passageway right through here and grab it out on the other side and then connect it to the fuse block on the inside, okay? Since this is not the vehicle, or, or I'm, I, I'm not actually gonna connect everything here for the video, but here is the fuse. The fuse slips over here and then our piece slips onto the the one side and runs into the chase underneath the seat. 